Greetings and welcome to another edition of The Great Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Well, here it is another Wednesday, and today we have for you Pride Weekend 2016. Yes, it is a Pride Weekend, and I just thought I'd take this opportunity to speak a little bit about the mass shooting in Orlando, Florida, because this is so meaningful to us, this is so important to us, and it's it can't be ignored. The, the we we can't comprehend with so much hate. So much hate is hard to comprehend. We can't understand why some people are so full of hate. And we, we just want to put some perspective on it and, and realize that the person who did this was a very small person. He was very tiny, small, insignificant person. And he wasn't important because he was so full of hate. And hate took away his importance. So we, we want to emphasize that just to start out that, that this man, he's, he, he was insignificant. The people he took, the lives he took were significant. The, the lives he took were full of meaning. But his life in itself was insignificant, and um, we don't understand why people hate. All we know is that they do hate, and they hate gays, and they hate lesbians, and they hate bisexual and transgender people. And we don't understand it. We don't understand why they hate so much. But it's becoming clear to us in this country that we're going to have to face the the hatred head on and we're going to have to tackle the hatred head on because these people can't hide anymore the people who are full of hate can't hide behind a portrait of Jesus or or behind Allah or Muhammad or whoever it is that they hide behind they can't hide anymore because these attacks bring the subject right out into the open and they can't hide they can't hide they can't say well they got what they deserved because they were gay no they can't do that they can't do that anymore they can't hide their hatred because it's right out in the open in plain view for everyone to see that there that there's hatred and that the hatred results in death and destruction and evil and it is evil it it is evil what these people do that they these haters are evil and the things that they do are evil and the guy who did this declared his um his allegiance with ISIS and said that he was doing it for ISIS um and so we we can't comprehend the hate we don't know why there's hatred all we know is that there's hatred out there and we have to tackle it head on we have to tackle it head on and so what we say on pride weekend is be proud of who you are be proud to be yourself don't let anyone tell you that you're wrong or that who you love is wrong, or that it's wrong to be you, okay? That is not acceptable. We, we do not accept people telling us that we, that we are wrong and that it's wrong to be ourselves. Accept yourself as who you are inside, in your heart and soul, and don't let other people tell you that you're that you're bad. Don't let other people tell you that you're wrong. Because 
they're the ones who are wrong most likely and their their hatred blinds them it's a blinders they're wearing blinders and they can't they can't see they can't see wh why they're they're blind and why it is that hatred blinds them to the truth but the truth is is that gay people are just like everybody else they're acceptable and they're they're not harming anyone they're not hurting anybody by being gay and so we need to um look a little deeper and and see that gay people are are just like uh, the rest of us they're just like everybody else and they're they deserve happiness and they deserve to be free from violence and people who are violent towards gays are really whether they whether they justify it or not or say that it's the gay person's fault or not they're just ju trying to justify their hatred and their hatred is unacceptable to us we do not accept their hatred we do not accept their judgment of us or their hatred so the the answer to the question is um no we don't we don't accept hatred and we don't accept um lies told about gay people we don't accept that and we don't accept people who are intolerant and we don't accept people who are who are belligerent and we don't accept people who are are killers we don't accept killers we don't accept hate hate mongers and we certainly don't accept people saying they got what they deserve they de they deserve to die because we 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 deserve to live we have a right to live and in fact it it's it's a shame that some people can't be friends they can't be friends with other people because they 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 push away that friendship they push away all all friendship and all all bonds uh, of of uh you know natural bonds of affection where like like uh fathers and sons or or mothers and daughters or siblings they push that away they push away their loved ones because they're gay and it isn't right it isn't right and it isn't fair so what what we want to do what we want to do is we want to teach people to be accepting of gays and lesbians and bisexuals and transgenders and to not reject them and to not push them away and to accept them as they are and only judge them as a person if they do wrong but if they're if they're just being gay they're harmless if they're just being gay that's harmless so <clears throat> right now we want to tell people that that it that it's okay to be different and that you don't have to be afraid you don't have to be afraid of being different than everybody else it's okay to be different difference is is part of who we are and it makes us unique and it makes us better people and it makes us more diverse as a people and and diversity is a good thing it's it's a good thing to be to be different because diversity gives us strength it gives us strength as a people that we're all different and it, just because of one group is in the minority and everybody else is in the majority and doesn't agree with them it is no reason there's no reason at all 
to reject the, the that group of people that's in the minority, unless it's a minority of hate. Then we can reject that minority of haters that are very specific in their hatreds. And if that means what people decide is religious intolerance, so be it. Um, we can't tolerate religion that is based on hate. We can't tolerate religion that seeks to impose itself on everybody else. Um, a good example would be where they want to uh, ban gays from their businesses and not serve them in their businesses because they're gay and they can judge you just by wear, wearing a hat, something as simple as a hat, or, so, or they just don't like the way you look and they can toss you out of their business just like that, just like that, or just for being gay or just for looking gay or just for being different, a little bit different, they can toss you out of their business. That isn't right. That is not right. So this Pride re Weekend, we want to tell everybody that it's okay to be gay. It's acceptable to be gay. Goddess loves you very much, and she never will judge you for being gay. She'll never judge you. And, and people who are straight just have to get, get with it. They have to go get with the program and learn to love their gay brothers and sisters and learn to be accepting and tolerant and, and be tolerant of transgender people that want to use the bathroom because Everybody has to use the restroom, transsexuals included, so be accepting of that. And you just learn to, to be a, an accepting person and learn to be tolerant, a tolerant person. And, and not reject people just because they're, they're different. That, that is not acceptable. That is not acceptable to us for you to reject people for being different. So that's the story. Um, everyone have a great week. Take care. And I'll see you next time.